Hey, sauce, sauce, uh, 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 um, he admitted to getting half a group kill, so he was gonna pay for that, so you don't have to, you only gotta worry about that. Um, I don't know. He made, he made Kenny shoot the boy, because we gotta make him suffer, because he thought he was gonna be the leader of the group, and he was gonna press us about some dumb shit, I don't know, even if he tried to help this guy. Get him to the house. Yep, he's on his way to murder with his dad. Okay. Even though I'm thinking we should've helped. I think we should have probably helped him murder Larry. I wasn't such a fan of Larry. But you know, it's whatever. I don't know. What else happened? He had a new member at the bomb. Yeah. <laughs> he replaced Kenny's wife, I guess. And his dead son. May he rest in peace. That's crazy. She just shot herself. Yeah, she gave up. Oh, yeah, you made Kenny shoot his son as well. I wonder how this is going to turn out later in this, uh, you know, later on. You know. <clears throat> but, if you're enjoying this Let's Play, let us know down in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share, man. It's already 100 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate your support. We're going to hop right into it. Push the red. What? Oh yeah, they got caught. Oh my god, all right, freeze up. <laughs> Before Goku grab his arm. Watch your foot. Before Goku grab his arm. Man, okay, my stomach. It's fucking nasty. Oh, I don't know. Going on. 
I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. I don't worry about it. Took off like a bat out of hell when man, I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. There's something wrong, bang on the door. Jimmy, I'm fine. <laughs> then I'll come Just, on you, don't I'm threat. fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if we'll meet well enough to move. <laughs> well, you better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. Hello, I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far yet. now. Maybe we, <laughs> we can look for them on the way to the river. Omid. There's no way I'm letting you go back out there. But maybe I can help. Kenny and I'll be fine. You're gonna stay right here where it's safe. No arguments. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? <laughs> yeah, take him. Just take him. No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? Right, what am I, a liability? We could have used them. Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you've pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I'm oh, punching your shit. <laughs> <laughs> nope. We'll leave them alone. We'll leave them alone with Clementine. I mean, there's, there's other adults here. It'll be fine. There's that one chick, Clementine, who's much more capable than Ben. You think, you think Clementine killed Ben? I mean, no. You can be realistic. Fucking murder, Clementine. That's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. And talking to see how tall Ben is? He's <laughs> gonna hurt Clementine. I remember as a kid, we should have fight her at the fucking camp council. He beat the fuck out of all of us effortlessly, bro. You serious? <laughs> <laughs> Much of love, Clem. Saying that she on that level yet? She's like, I don't know what she is right here. You think everyone's safe back at the house? Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't uh, be yeah, a problem once we that. get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. That crazy she was talking to a dude on the Son radio? of a bitch. Like, that bastard's that fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, mean. listen. That's not the same <laughs> bell as before. That's this one's further off. Range. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. 
I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. <laughs> Kenny man, let's just go back to the house and tell <laughs> This is the plan. It's the only one we've got. And you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Come on, man. Why can't you just give it like the white kid? I understand. This one might still be salvageable. Kenny, get a grip. This boat is totally fucked. Oh yeah? Know a lot about boats, do you? Tell you what, if I ever need an expert opinion on American history, I'll be sure to ask. But how about you leave the nautical shit to me? Oh yeah. yeah I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Get out of here. Alright, we're It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? <laughs> Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Great. Needs a quarter to work. <laughs> Damn. Built solid. What's up with the boat? 
It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? <laughs> A fate worse than death. Water dead. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. <laughs> That's way <laughs> Salvageable. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Oh, yeah. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. I really want the zombie pockets, do you? Do you really? The hell? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Crawford. He stung you. <laughs> just stung Crawford? You. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. I could add him move the thing to hit her arm. I wonder what would happen if I blocked her arm again. Kenny, don't! How are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. Hi. Right. Did you see how you squeeze your hand? Like, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're gonna... You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? That is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? 
You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite, when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> like, I knew it! Time, Lee, I, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's really That's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. A bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron! You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Right. Just right. Isn't that the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. And what about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. <sighs> Come on, make it fast.
us out of there! God, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Thank you. 
That's your hobo. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Ask you the same question. You barged in on us, and and I'm the one holding the gun. So I'll ask you again. Who are you? Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. Look, I got cornered down here. All I want is to get back out to the streets and find my group. Bullshit! You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. You threatening me, old man? Because you're not gonna like how that goes. <laughs> Get gun down before you really make me mad. He's bluffing. You think so? Try me. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. No, I don't think so. I know killers. <laughs> seen my share. You ain't got the look. And that means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! Oh, God. Vernon, what have you done? <laughs> now tell me. Who the hell are you people? You say you're not from Crawford, but you sure as hell act like it. Guess you'll just have to take my word for it. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Why should we tell you anything? Because now I'm the one holding the gun. Start talking. We are from Crawford. We avoid or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. Started weeding out the sick and the old. So their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? My friend here asked you a question. <laughs> you are sick. We belong to a cancer survivors group that used to meet at the hospital here. Now we're under mission, but that wasn't good enough to cough. They'd already rounded up five of us before we managed to hole up and hide down here. 
What is this? A more? <laughs> yeah, irony's always top of my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. Now, I don't care if you have a gun or not. I want to know how you found your way down wow. here. That's not important right now. What's important to me is that I get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? You expect us to help you after the way you busted in here and terrorized us? Hey, if I got in your face a little, that's too bad. All this shit that's gone down has made us all a little punchy. I just want to get home. I hear you, but we all got our own problems. Two of our people are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Because this is your other option. You can either show me the way back or die right here. What's it gonna be? You son of a bitch! Sorry, but it's like you said. We've all got our own problems. <laughs> all right, Bree. I'll show you the way back to your people. Yes, yes. And then I hope I never see you again. Deal. I think we could use them again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's that dude? <laughs> you got more of your friends? Hey, our friends have been doing so. <laughs> <laughs> Threatening. I didn't hey, realize you said my friend here asked a question. But like, yo. Alright, leave. What the fuck? Clementine? Clem? Clementine? What the fuck are you trying to steal from us? Molly? Shit around you right now. Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. Not by choice, I can assure you. I think you have something that belongs to me. Oh, I'm gonna keep that. I want you to jump on that wall. <laughs> like he's fucking blade. <laughs> yeah. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. You don't get a choice, buddy. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. You really just threatened him <laughs> with a gun twice. <laughs> Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? You need to be safe here. You know, uh, be in the game here. We ain't going to head off here. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Searching out. Going with Kenny led us to getting stuck in a hole. Me and a new, whole new group. Yeah, man. And threatening them. Yeah, but he's changing. He's different now. It's crazy. Savage, we try to attack that ready. girl. We got one good weekend, and she bang. That nigga, pink. Like, oh, she's oh, like, hold up, she, like, hold she, up, she, she got some she power. Like, she was like, you snug me. She said, she's like, that wasn't supposed to happen, but okay. If you enjoyed uh, Let's Plays, let us know down in the comments. 
Let us know other games you'd like to see. If you're enjoying this, hit that like button, subscribe, and share, man. It's your brother to 100 subscribers. I really appreciate all the support. We'll see you next time. I will be gaming. Peace. Peace.